Before this campus ever existed, this was Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Ute land. Before any other displacement, there was genocide. Yet their tuition isn't covered here. Educational institutions continue the genocidal practice of exclusion and assimilation when it comes to their indigenous students. CU Denver Regents pledge allegiance right before they recite a land acknowledgement. It was business as usual. Then there was a class offered in political science. That, with the indigenous studies courses offered in poli-sci, were just too much. This was a course, American political thought, and it was a class that included us, that pushed against the theoretical practices of white men. A class that made a lot of people uncomfortable. A class that made whiteness uncomfortable. They couldn't keep up with the books, ideas, and worldviews their BIPOC students were beginning to engage in. A student with right-wing politics soon published an article about our class. It spread. There were death threats on our instructor. There was a timid response by both the department and the administration. All this while in the classroom. A white instructor who had probably never wanted to understand Kimberly Crenshaw or intersectionality, and probably still doesn't, demonstrated how terrible it was to be a straight white woman in today's world. By mock hanging herself during a class she was instructing, which included black and indigenous students. BIPOC faculty began to leave the department in revulsion, demoralized by the opposition and complacency of their own colleagues. This group of BIPOC students met with Michelle Marks to inquire why her signature was on the tenure of a second instructor from our department who still received that tenure with a violation of the university's non-discrimination policy. This was an instructor that made sure BIPOC students felt especially unsafe in their department. Yet these white instructors remain at our university and continue to be rewarded, further obfuscating the reality and the experience of BIPOC faculty and BIPOC students. Another instructor declared in front of students that our group, whom they had a pet name for, that if we had become vocal about the racism we were experiencing in this department while he was present, that he would have just told us to fuck off. BIPOC students continue to show up to department meetings where our questions are ignored for the next item on the agenda, while our new department chair says nothing to defend us or at least allow us to be heard. This department, emboldened by the inaction of the university and by the recent tenure, of that instructor with the violation of the university's non-discrimination policy has not been held accountable. This university has to stop pretending that it needs to figure out what the problem is 